All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth, according to the Bible and Ruel, and Shalom, Labakoyim, Wabarakim, Shoyashirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lasha one for Dash, the Hebrew tongue. And the name of this is going to be called Repent, you know? Repent, man. You know, your ears are like your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and as well as your ears are like foreigners, according to the seat of your fathers, man. All right, you know why, why, why you still can. As a matter of fact, let's get out of Lawyer Howard Shot's mouth himself. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. It says, And at that time, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. See? And when you break that word repent down, re meaning back, and pent meaning regret or sorrow. All right? So turn it back sorrowfully, man. You know? About the things that you did in the world, you know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, Become a new uh, spiritual creature, man. You know, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, because the things that you regret that you did uh, in the world, you're going to um, offend less and, and not to do it in this truth. When you um, when you come back to knowing who you are, you know. So I'm going to read this over again. Um, this is the book of Matthew 4 and 17. It says, and at that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Lord Yahweh Shai was talking to Israelites, okay? Not the whole world, okay? He was talking to Israelites, okay? As a matter of fact, um, let's see here. Uh, matter of fact, I got a quick commentary for that. This is uh, Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 and i'm gonna get a precept after this it says yahweh started his ministry with the very word people had heard from john the baptist which is lawyer yahweh cousin say repent it says the message is the same today as when yahweh and john gave it and it is man okay you tell you our people you so-called negroes latinos and native american indians and as well as the years of like foreigners, mainly talking to the elect, though, to repent. OK. And it says um, becoming a becoming a follower of Yahweh Shah means turning away from our self-centeredness and self-control and turning our lives over to Yahweh Shah's direction and control, man. So coming in is true. All right. Following these scriptures to the best of our abilities, man. Okay, that's the direction that Lord Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah wants us to go. Okay, uh, the path of difficulty. Okay, the narrow, the narrow path. So now, as a matter of fact, because I mentioned I wanted to bring out a precept for that. Um, let me make sure it's the right one. Let's see here. Um, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter uh, sixteen. Verse 67, it says, Behold, Yahweh Barashim Shah himself is the judge. Fear him, which we know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding the Bible, right? And it says, Leave off from your sins and, re and forget your iniquities. Now, sin is the transgression of the breakers of the law, statutes, and commandments. And iniquities is sin upon sins. So that's pretty much saying repent, man. Okay? Repent from the uh, you know, the willful sins that they we was doing, you know what I'm saying, and, and coming to this truth. 
Because as we as, as we always gonna be in this flesh, we always gonna sin, but it's a difference when you in this truth and who you was when we was back in the world. You know, because while we in this truth and when we sin knowingly and what we don't know, uh we repent, man. We always ask forgiveness for you, how about Shimmy Al Shah. And it says, and meddle no more with them forever. So shall you how about Shimmy Al Shah lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. See? And we're hoping to be a part of that number of the elect to uh, be delivered from the ultimate uh, trouble that he's going to be bringing, which is Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? When martial law happens, man. You know? But we don't want to be caught up in that because that's going to be a, a wrathful day, man. And, and who's going to be controlling that spirit? Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. So now, let's go from there. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted. Right, converted, con meaning with, vert meaning truth. All right. And then once you uh understand the truth, understand these scriptures, you start practicing what what you learn to the best of your abilities, as we do here, we do here at Great Millstone. Starting off with the head of apostles, the elder bishops on down, right? It says that your sins may be blotted out. And that word blot goes into erase. Okay? To uh, exterminate. To abolish. Okay? So we want to get a pass, man. You know, we want our sins to be pardoned. You know? That thawah, that exempt from judgment. It says, uh, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know? But that's what Lord Yahweh Shah is coming back to do with that fire, man. You know, he's coming back to refresh in, 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 uh, um, the, the, the filth and pollution and the philosophies that's out here. That's all going to be done away with. And the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. And they're going to have to learn our laws, our statutes, and our commandments, man. You know, this world is going to be ruled in righteousness underneath Lord Yahweh Shah, you know. So from there, that was, that was it on that one. Um, let's see. Let's see what Luke says. Let's go to Luke 24. Let's see what this says through the spirit. Um, Luke 24. Let's see. Um, is it Luke 24? Uh, it might be the wrong precept. Salakia, Salakia. Okay, that, okay. Let's go to Acts. Let's let's stay in Acts then. So you find that one, Lord's will. I thought it was one of Luke. This is the book of Acts. Let's see. Um, chapter uh, twenty six, verse twenty. It says, um, but it says, uh, matter of fact, uh, I start at verse nineteen. It says, whereupon, O King Agrippa. I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision, but show first unto them in Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coast of Judea and then to the Gentiles, which they're all Israelites. And it says um, that they should repent and to Yahweh and turn to Yahweh Shemel Shai and do works meet for repentance, man. And what's the works meet for repentance? What we're doing now. Making these digital epistles, which the word epistle means the letters. Okay. Edifying one another by the word. Going out there on the highways and hedges. You know, practicing the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our abilities. You know, keeping the high holy days to the best of our abilities. You know, that's that's the works meet for repentance right there. Okay. Because works is something that you do. It's an action. It's a verb. So I'm going to read this over again. This is Acts 26 and 20. It says, But show first unto them at Damascus and at Jerusalem, for there was Israelites in all those lands, and throughout all the coast of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, which are also Israelites. And it says that they should repent and to turn to Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and do work meet for repentance, which is doing the work of the Lord. As I mentioned earlier, which is what we do throughout our week, 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, when we go out there in the highways and hedges. As a matter of fact, let me bring this out. Because I mentioned that there was all Israelites. And it says that they should repent, right? This is the book of um, Acts 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh Bashim Yahweh rather than man. Right, so we don't care about people's opinions and emotions. We care about what thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. Okay? And it says, verse 30, The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. Who was that? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world even calls God. And it says, Whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Right, but yeah, because our people sold well, Yahweh Shai out and handed him over to the Romans, which were Edomites, you know, and they uh, crucified him, man. Which was a slow, pain, agonizing death, you know. And our people, you know, have a big part in that. And they got, and that's why so much judgment is going out now. And there's going to be even more judgment and deletions going on down the line for them doing that. Because those same spirits that did that are here today in this reincarnation, in this generation. Verse 31 Him have Yahweh Bashim Shah exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel, not the other nations, to Israel and forgiveness of sin. So I just wanted to bring that out just to back up the statement that I said that uh, when it says Damascus, them in Damascus, Jerusalem, and throughout all the coast of Judea and the Gentiles, that they should repent, that they are Israelites. And that's the precept that back it up. You know, repentance is only given to the nation of Israel started with the elect okay because it's all about the elect anyway because the two-thirds they're going to be deleted on this side okay for their rebellion so now let's go to the apocrypha let's bring out one or two more this is the book of ecclesiasticus chapter uh chapter 17 verse 24 it says but unto them that repent he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. And right, and how do we comfort them? How do we comfort one another by the word? Okay? And patience goes into suffering. Okay? But it says, but unto them that repent, man. Okay? That turn back softly. All right? They regret the things they did in the world and now serving Yahweh by Shema Sha to the best of their abilities, man. You know? As a matter of fact, verse 25, it says, Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face, and offend less. See? So forsake thy sins, man, and make thy prayer, which the word pray goes back to beg, before his face and defend less, man, as you grow spiritually, as you understand the scriptures more and go through more experiences, and it's true, you know, you're going to offend Yahweh by Shema Shah less by, you know, um, walking on eggshells, man, to the best of your abilities, you know? Matter of fact, verse 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health, which is what? Yahweh Shah and the, and the understanding of these scriptures, man. And that's what the Lord did for us. We was once in the world. We was once in darkness, thick like the other heathen nations. Okay? But Yahweh Bashim Shah called us into this truth. And now we have the light of health, which is, you know, the understanding of these scriptures, which comes from Yahweh Shah, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, because without him down on that cross, we wouldn't have had the understanding of the scriptures. And it says, And hate thou abominations uh, vehemently. You know, an abomination is a wicked, filthy act. In the definition of the word, vehemently, it says, in a passionate or intense manner with great feeling. You know, so Yahweh Bashim Shah hates abominations uh, uh, intensely, passionately, man. You know, greatly. Okay? And that's why we try to offend less, man, because we don't want to piss off Yahweh Bashim Shah more than he already is, all right, to the best of our abilities. That's why we constantly repent and try to offend less, you know. 
So that was pretty much the point. Do the spirit power you how about Shimon on Sha? Bahashim Rakakwadash. As a matter of fact, I got one more. This is uh Ecclesiasticus 21 and 6. It says, He that hateth to be reproved is in the way of sinners, which is going into the two thirds of our people. Starting off with those who know that they're Israelites, and then when we get when they get corrected by by the elder apostles and the elder bishops on down, you know, the they they they're in the way of sinners, man. They're gonna get the same judgment as a a, a ninja that's selling drugs on the street, which is uh, destruction, right? It says, but he that fear of the Lord will repent from his heart, and the heart mean the mind, you know? And he's not going to do that offense to the best of his abilities uh, no more, man, okay? Because why? Because we fear Yahweh Bashim Shah, that we had that deep reverence for Yahweh Bashim Shah. So Lord's windows edifying to next time I say Shalom.